Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. This is what we're gonna do today, a uh, particle effect using Photoshop. So we're gonna turn this regular uh, image into this particle effect. It looks like there's some type of uh, the movie poster. So you can apply this effect to the, any object or any person or anything. So uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, first please download these two files from the link I provided in my description. One is the explosion brushes.abr. This is a Photoshop brush, and one is the and this uh, the portrait. And open this portrait in Photoshop. So you can use this photo, or you can use the your selfie, or the any others. Uh, so first the thing is I need to um, get rid of this background, and as you can see. Uh, it's a hair and a lot of details and beard, so we're going to do that. So first, unlock the layer, and then please choose the, your quick selection tool from your toolbox. Make sure you're using the add selection tool, this one. And the brush size, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Option, control key, and drag it to the right, so you can make it a little bit bigger. If you drag up, soft edges, down, hard edges. So something like this. So I'm going to select him. Just kind of rough selection. Okay. And I'm going to make it slightly smaller. And his ear. So it's just the um, um, rough selection. Okay, I don't want to miss his beard. Okay, so it looks good. It's a rough selection. Now, from your toolbox, go to on top, select end mask, click on it. Okay, your view options, you can choose anything you like. I'm going to choose the on black. Okay, and as you can see, it is like the kind of a cutout uh, from the magazine using the, uh, a pair of scissors. Choose refine hair on top first. Refine hair. So it will do pretty good to see that, the corner. It's so pretty good, but still there are some more stuff to do. I'm going to do... Select the uh, this the uh, refine edge brush tool first, and on your right in the properties panel, please check the smart radius for the smoother selection, and then let me just rub with my mouse cursor. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, looks good. And his beard. Okay, so it looks good. Now say okay. See? So as you can see, uh, we have this. So I'm going to add a little more. My still, my selection is the quick, as, uh, quick selection tool. I'm going to select here, there, and here too. A uh, little bit of that. I'm going to leave it as it is because the yeah, is kind of uh, some details there. Then, in your layers panel, one, two, three, the third button, please insert the other layer mask. Okay, as you can see, something's wrong here. Then, hold down the option and click on this the layer mask icon. See? Now, choose the, your dodge tool, dodge, and your range is highlight and just to make it brighter using this dodge tool here okay okay i'm back so it looks good it looks good and then uh, select uh, your layer mask, this black and white silhouette, and trash it. 
and apply. So now we have just a portrait without background. Now let's make a new document. The size is going to be uh, 16 inches by 9 inches and 300 dpi and RGB color and a white background and create it. Okay, now back to the portrait. Please choose the, your move tool. Select your portrait. Keep pressing your down uh, your mouse button and drag it to the new document we just created and release your mouse button. Okay. I'm going to make it slightly smaller. Command T. About that size. And I'm going to place him somewhere here. Maybe a little more. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay, now we have two layers. Bottom layer is the white background and top layer is a portrait without background. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. Command J. So we have two. And hide the original one on the bottom. Still my top layer is selected. Then insert layer mask. Okay. Now it's time to import the brush, the explosion brushes. So select your the brush tool. Go to settings. Click on this the gear shape and uh, import brushes. Then you're gonna see uh, your brushes. Explosion brushes.abr. So import it, open it. I already did. So cancel. Okay, then please choose from the if you scroll down, you're gonna see uh, your explosion brushes folder. See? Explosion brushes. And let me choose number two. Explosion number two, this one. Okay. Now make sure your foreground color is black. And then your selection in your layers panel is this layer mask, white box. Do not select this. Make sure you select the white box. Then open brush settings. I'm going to change the angle like a minus 120, 110, something like that. And I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Option control, make it a little bit bigger. So somewhere there, like that. And let me rotate it a little bit. So I'm kind of erasing him. Maybe a little more. Just like that. I'm going to make it a little bigger, even bigger. So I have more debris. Okay, maybe a little more. Like that. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, then um, hide this layer. Now make the this of the first portrait layer visible. And then go to filter, choose liquefy. Okay, liquefy. And then uh, make this the, your, the brush size a little bit. Oh, that's too small. A little bit smaller. And then uh, just rub it kind of a, like a rubbing. Like that. Okay. Just to do the um, uh, do these things from the just the border, I don't want to distort too much on his face, so I'm not gonna touch his eyes. Just like that. Okay, so it looks good. It looks kind of a little weird, and then say okay. Now, still my top layer is hidden, and then on the second layer, the one we liquefied, and then insert the layer mask. White box is attached, select the white box, the layer mask, and invert it. 
Command I. So now it is black box and then we don't see it. Okay. Now make your top layer visible. Still my selection is this bottom layer and this layer mask, the black box. Now choose your the, um, uh, the explosion brushes. This time I'm going to change the, uh, the angle and also set your foreground color this time to white. Now open brush settings. Let me change the angle like that. Maybe yeah, 10 degree and watch. See? Now we are revealing the liquefied uh, images, the bottom layer. You can make it even bigger. And now I may change the uh, my um, brushes from number two to let me try number six. I'm going to make it bigger even bigger and watch see maybe a little smaller okay so this is how it works and then I want to make it a little more dramatic uh, so what I'm gonna do is let me select the top layer this time I'm gonna insert um, new adjustment layer let me apply hue and saturation hue and saturation i'm going to do the over saturation okay so on this layer then change the uh, blending mode from normal to color burn and let me change the fill option uh down to maybe 20 or somewhere here so watch this without this adjustment layer it is pretty kind of a blurry or the normal and then I, it is more dramatic so I like that better and also I want to fill this area in black so uh, let me select my bottom layer let me insert a new layer so this is a new blank layer I'm gonna choose my uh, brush tool this time let me choose yeah, just a regular brush uh, general brushes that's too big make it smaller And my foreground color is black. Let me fill the area like that. Okay. And you see that kind of a, uh, the green edges, that thing? Uh, we can do this. I can make another new layer on top of my portrait. And brush size a little bit smaller and still black full background. And let me just paint it. Okay, so it looks good. Now, let me select the top layer. I'm going to insert the text. Let me type, I see you. Ding, ding, ding. It looks, sounds kind of a little scary. Uh, make it a little bit bigger. Even bigger. Okay, so there. Okay. So this is the uh, how we can convert the, your regular images into like a particle uh, effect. Um, may like some kind of movie poster or the intro pages. So I hope you enjoy this video and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.